hours later. You wanna watch it again? Me too. Two hours later. One more time. Oh my goodness. I am beat today. Um, I just had Nightmare Before Christmas on in the background all day. I'm really trying to just squeeze in the last little bit of Halloween. We are going to Magic Kingdom tonight. I'm just about to leave to go get Peter from work. I did want to give you a quick update on my appointment that I had this morning. So basically I have to go in every week to get blood drawn and make sure that my HCG level is going down and it is. Um, it's going down well. It's in like the 400s. If you remember like my initial test, um, it was in the 600s. So it is going down. Um, so that is good, but unfortunately I am going to have to have an HSG again, which is the dye test, um, before we transfer again. And my doctor wants to wait two cycles. So I don't, we don't know yet, my nurse doesn't know. Um, she has to talk to my doctor if it's okay for the dye test to be on the second one, or if we have to wait completely for the two cycles to pass and then do the HSG on the third one. Um, unfortunately, this test happens on a very specific day and it takes up, like I won't be able to have a, the HSG and the transfer the same cycle. So basically, they'll do the test make sure that everything looks good, nothing was left behind after my surgery or the, the DNC procedure. Um, I understand the importance of it. I want us to have the best odds for our next transfer, um, but just any additional time is just, um, it's just frustrating just because we, it's just always rushed, like rushed to a weight, rushed to a weight. And um, we just wanna move forward. We just want to get, you know, through this all and um, to try again. And I'm just struggling right now, maintaining that positivity. Um, but I have to remind myself that we want the best odds for our next transfer. And if it means making sure that everything looks great on the inside, it'll be worth it. It'll also make this holiday season um, just a little bit less pressure because we won't have to do anything. So we won't be thinking about it, we'll just be able to enjoy. So we really are just trying to focus on that positive note that we'll be able to really enjoy the holidays. However, it's just, it's just really, it's something that I can't really describe when you thought things were gonna be one way and they ended up not being that way. And I know that this path will lead us to whatever joy we find. Um, so we are, again, keeping that, um, keeping that outlook on things. But that is the update. I know a lot of you have been wondering um, when we'll be able to try again. So <sighs> end of this year, early next year is what it's looking like. Soak it up. Last time. Forever. No! Just kidding. We're gonna go see our pumpkin that we're gonna carve our pumpkin after. His name is Geraldine. His name is Rupert. We're marrying Rupert for our pumpkin. Wow. I thought we were gonna do a double. For our Space Mountain Fast Pass Scott. <gasps> Ooh, this battery's not looking good either. I didn't do a good job of charging the batteries yesterday. Um, we just kind of want to chill on Main Street for a little bit, so I want to kind of go give a stink eye to some of these people in the rocking chairs in front of the plaza, hoping they leave. Hey, we got our rocking chair moment. It's time for them to have their sure, rocking You're very true. You, you keep me centered. Let's go see if Roy's busy. Okay. Um, had to stop. 
on the way to benches because have you seen an absolutely more beautiful? They got an Andy Toy Story style cloud above the castle right there. <laughs> Sun setting but a shadowy main street with beautiful lit up fall decorations. I love it! We're watching Hocus Pocus tonight when we get home and drinking hot warm cider because Sarah got cider and there's pumpkin pie. We're having... Wait, it's not pumpkin pie, it's pumpkin cheesecake. That's what I meant. We're having a fall celebration day. A fall celebration week. That's fall celebration. Cool. Let's get let's get fall tattoos. <laughs> Just autumn leaves tattooed in our arms and our necks. All right, Roy was looking busy over there. A bunch of people taking awesome, cute photos, which I gotta love and give respect to because not everybody loves Roy like that. Sarah and I are just gonna chill right here on the curb, this hot vacation feeling floor, while she sets up the new Instagram time lapse notification post. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. Oh, she's just doing that to be mean to you guys. <laughs> We're going into the contem the contemporary, the confectionery, just for the smells. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh, that is I don't know. A little garbage can, Main Street action. We're used to doing this at like park open. It feels so good right now. Yeah? It was warm but now it's cooling. Mm -hmm. Also makes me scared of rain, but work hearts aren't scared of rain. <laughs> All right, we're going. We're migrating to Tomorrowland to, to chill with our waters and our coffees. But we saw something that we never told you guys about. So I used to work for the Walt Disney World Company. You guys know this now. What we didn't tell you is I was a graphic designer, and I designed this new Instagram wall. Just kidding. Just kidding. I ran analytics. Did you know about this project? No, I didn't. It's just trying this. It's just trying this. Sarah and I have just been people watching. And I just told Sarah, like, I just, so we've always talked about having, like, six kids. But, like, you know, we're obviously we learned, like, we're just going to roll the punches and see where life takes us. But I was like, I just want to be, like, three kids deep, fourth on the way, cruising these parks. All the kids are too young to be in school. Just, like, rocking. Disney World genuine love. Just like our kids appreciate and just walk, being able to walk around the park. That's why I tell you guys, like, don't freak out. Like, Sarah and I could change and want to move to Chicago next month or next year. Or it could be like 10 years or it could be never. Because we truly just love it. We've literally not done any. We walked in, sat on the front of Main Street, got coffee and water, sat on Main Street again, walked over. We were barely in Tomorrowland, sat here. We've been here for over two hours, I think. Or no, almost two hours now. And then Sarah's coming back in a second, we're gonna go on People Mover before we hit up other stuff, which People Mover's just more sitting and enjoying. We just love to enjoy all of it. All of it. Different high flying adventure. You're in luck, Peter Burrowcart. Space Mountain is back, back up. up. Gonna hit that fast pass! Wow. And the line, like, sometimes when it goes down, the fast pass line goes like crazy long, but it's not. Well, it's like a Halloween mirror. Guys, we're heating up apple cider when we get home. And there's pumpkin just kick. And, and Eve, a puppy, she's our dog. If you haven't seen her before, just wait. But what does it mean? It means peace, love, applesauce. The ultimate goal is to get the two rider special. About 15 people in front of you. They say, yeah, they got two riders and you throw up the juices skip so fast. Everybody. And you skip everybody. It saves you about three minutes. Did we get the early ride, two rider skip? Maybe next time. Right, I'm gonna touch this here. Here we go. One small step for man, one giant leap for me, you know. That was scary. There's light.
widening in this area. But I don't, I think everyone's just ignoring it. I so, think it's really far away though. Yeah, our plan is to go on Dumbo. Haven't done that in a long time. So we better get on before the lightning comes in the area. Yeah, I always, this always gives us an excuse to go into storybook. Circus. Circus. Treats. Halloween. Smell it up. Right, and one of my favorite memories of the Halloween party last year was at the dance party over here. So sweaty. Yeah, it was so fun. I think the plan is to watch the fireworks from our favorite fan fantasy land spot before we head out. But we never know. The bugs were saying that Lucy did not have the greatest time watching fireworks recently from Grand Floridian. But she seems excited so far today. Yeah. So we're going to try to watch some famous land, but then we got to go because we have, a, have to have a fall festival. Yeah. What is my hair? Yours. She's super I'm sweaty. I'm so sweaty. Like, slimy like, sweaty. Like, uncomfortable. And I'm a little sweaty, but feel me. It's because you're a runner, honey. Because I sweat 90% of the time. Right. Now it takes, like, more for your body to sweat. Yeah. And I'm, I run outside well, really all the time when now. Do. When I do run, I sweat like a beast. to the bypass to check out Halloween statues one last time. Look at Jester Goofy. I kind of like that pumpkin as a design. Goodbye fall Mickey. We love you and we promise life won't be as crazy next year and we'll give you much more love. Hi, we're taking a gamble because you guys know it's crazy leaving Magic Kingdom after the fireworks. Especially going back to the TTC. But if you didn't know, on I wouldn't say rare occasions, but it's not guaranteed every night. Yeah, I think it's busier. When it's busier, this happens. They do run buses from the bus stops here in front of Magic Kingdom back to the TTC. So, when there's a long line for the monorail, a long line for the ferry. Beautiful. Um, but the question is, are they running enough buses to compensate for all the guests who are aware that they run buses? Right. Because most people it's don't not realize like the that. Most common way of Happy birthday! So fingers crossed. So since we've even been in line two more, let's roll that. We waited approximately three. It, by the time we we haven't stopped walking. Yeah. It's got fancy things and things and things and things and things. So we came home to this package of Enjoy Life Pancake Waffle Mix, this cute journal, hazelnut spray. No, of course, we need to figure out who this is from. So this came to our home. And then another really special thing we got today. This is from Erin. And this is probably one of the most thoughtful things we could have ever received. And that is a sweet pearl pea for every child. Our little sweet pea. sweet pea, our little baby was the size of a sweet pea. Thank you all. We also got our, did we talk about how we got 
we were waiting to get our Apple gift cards from a program, a rewards program for my work. Oh. Got them in the mail, so we get to go on a movie buying spree. And also, that did not get sent to our, our house. It got sent to our P.O. box. But remember, we had the mix up with the P.O. box, and it was getting sent from the P.O. box to our apartment. So it was the P.O. Oh, box. Yeah. Even the Amazon one? Yeah. Oh, gosh. That was all my fault. You put your right hocus pocus in, you put your right hocus pocus out, put your right hocus pocus in, and you... Do a happy dance! Uh oh, here comes the princess pie. A treat's fiend. What do you think you're doing? This is Halloween week. Sit. Sit. Alright, good girl. The daily message is by ghost. Nothing is worse more than this day. It is very late. It is 1.30 in the morning. We started watching Hocus Pocus. Sarah fell asleep. I don't recall if we said, but we got $75 in iTunes gift cards from this program that I, I have in my work. So we purchased on Apple TV Zombieland 1, League of Their Own, Perks of Being a Wallflower, 28 Days Later, and The Last Five Years. So I have like 20 bucks left, but I ended up watching Zombieland because I'm hoping that we can go see Zombieland 2 this weekend. And it's been, I didn't realize it's been 10 years since the first Zombieland came out. I'm a huge zombie movie fan, but it is way too late and we need to go to bed. Thank you for following with us. We are so glad you guys enjoy us so much. We really, yeah, we really do. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>